Okay, um, this tutorial is going to show you how to start and stop um, Oracle Virtual Machines from the command line. Um, so basically I want you to think about this as in two ways. There is an Oracle Virtual Machines server and you will uh, secure shell into that server often as root and on that server there may be uh, several um, virtual uh, virtual machine uh, I don't want to call them clients um, but you could call it that and um, I'm, this tutorial is basically going to show you how to manipulate those so you can start them stop them that type of thing um, so for this exercise I'm just going to show you a, a few files um, so this present working directory uh, command will show you what directory we're in and then I'm going to do an ls minus lh uh, in this folder and as you can see um, at its core a virtual machine really consists of a configuration file and one or more file images so and this readme file let's just uh, delete it we really don't need it um, so it's gone so now we have three files and my mouse here that was sort of highlighting um, better and as you can see if we look at the different sizes of these uh, one is 331 uh, bytes and the other ones are 25 and 13 gigs respectively so the configuration file is the vm.cfg file so let's just have a look at that file to begin with. So we see it's very simple. It has a name, and this can be any arbitrary name. It has the amount of memory allocated to it. And then uh, it specifies which disks to use. And what this actually does is it points to literally a file and that file is the disk. So it has everything in it. Um, so often when we're starting with virtual machines, we'll only actually have one file um, or one disk. Um, and then what we'll do is we may create additional disks because uh, we need more space. Say we have a database and it's growing, so we might create an additional disk uh, to put that information into. Uh, and the last thing that I want to draw your attention to is this virtual CPUs, vCPUs. This indicates how many CPUs this virtual machine uh, will try to access. And I typically use this to set this number to be the same number of CPUs that the machine actually has. The current hardware that this is sitting on is a, is a Core 2 Duo. Um, so it actually has uh, two CPU cores. So I set this to two. And, and you could have, say, three or four virtual machines all set to using two CPUs. And that's actually the best way to do it, as opposed to one might think, well, if I have two CPUs and two virtual machines, maybe I should allocate one CPU to each machine. But that turns out to be not the better way to do it. Um, because if one machine really needs CPU resources, it can take advantage of both CPUs. And the other the other virtual machine may not need those CPUs, so it's better to allocate all CPUs to all VMs. All right, so let's go through the basic commands. The first command that you're going to want to know how to do is called uh, XM list. So all the commands begin with XM, and the first one we're going to run is list. This shows you what virtual machines are currently running. So you'll always see this domain zero virtual machine, and that is basically the server, and every other one is the actual virtual machine client types of things that you're running. It shows you how many virtual CPUs they're, they're using and the memory. And you can see this DB is exactly just this virtual machine that we had a look at the configuration file of before. You can see the name here, and you can see the memory that it takes and the virtual CPUs, and that's all reflected in this XM list command. 
the second thing that we're going to want to know how to do is shut these down. So uh, you just type shut down and the name of the virtual machine that you want to shut down, which is identified with the XMLS command. So here we go. And um, we give the system a little bit of time um, because it takes maybe you know, 30 seconds to shut these down. So let's have a quick look and see. So we still see that it's there, still running. Um, but if we give it enough time, uh, it will actually uh, shut it down. Now there's some other commands that can be very useful and one of them is XM help. So this will tell you some extra commands that you can run and there's a whole bunch here. But um, there are some commands that I was looking for here. Let's see. Destroy. So this is like doing a hard shutdown. The shutdown is a soft shutdown. It's saying, please shut yourself down when you can. Whereas the destroy is like pulling the plug out of the wall. So a really hard shutdown. So if you're having trouble shutting down uh, a virtual machine, you can always use that command. So let's do the XM list again and see, so we can see that now only domain zero is running. So how do we start it up? We do XM create and the name of, oh, <clears throat> and then we specify the virtual machine configuration file. And since I'm already in this DB directory, I can just do VMCFG and that will fire off uh, the virtual machine, and uh, it takes, let's see, a couple seconds there. If we just do an ls again, you can see, yes, that VM config file is in my current directory, so using the command like that is, uh, is acceptable. And then we would obviously just do an XM list again, and we can see that the actual uh, virtual machine is running. So I'll finish that screencast here to keep them short and sharp and to the point.